Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We're going to take a look at our missions that we have. Oh, gather some science from around Gilly. That's interesting. We'll do that. I think we have a couple of other ones where we can do some easy stuff, uh, like from the surface of the moon. We can do that. Um, expand the station around DVS uh, around the moon. I need to rename that. Okay, I think we have a... Uh, a, a uh, what do you want to call that? A thing that goes around space, a satellite <laughs> around Gilly. No, no, we weren't able to get it around Gilly. Interesting. Um, we'll have to take a check. Take a uh, check that out. Take take a check that out. Take a check that out. No, I don't know. I can't talk. All right, so let's go get some science from the moon right quick first before we go take a check that out, as I like to say. So go to the moon lab. And we'll get some science from there and then we will um, take a look at Gilly and see what we have available there okay it's log temperature transmit that did that not count it's scientific oh now I did okay good Experimental data from the surface of the moon. Excellent. Good. That was an easy mission. Boy, I tell you. I like those. All right. Let's go back to the tracking station then. And let's go back out to Eve and Gilly. And see, because we have that satellite that's in a large orbit of Gilly. But, it, but we couldn't uh, get it in a true uh, orbit of Gilly itself because we were out of communication range. Uh, from our satellite around Eve. So let's take a look at what we got here. Um, here is Gilly. We are around Eve. And we have this other satellite here. There we go. Let's get on him. This is actually the one that we wanted. This is the one that we were sending out to Gilly, but <laughs> ended up. Uh, not being able to control it once we got out of there. So let's go to our apoapsis here. Oh, we still can't control it. Still can't control it. It's still too far away. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And there's Gilly right there, of course. I missed my chance, perhaps. Alright, alright. What is our location now? We are considered not around Gilly, we're around E, right? So if I do science right now. High over Gilly. Eh, maybe it will work. Strip. Let's keep it. Let's send it. Let's see. Oh, it did. It did count. Cool. Awesome. Okay, good deal. Very good. Let's see. Get that off there. Uh, gather the first scientific data from around Gilly. Let's go ahead and get this uh, other stuff. The uh, temperature as well. Send that. Okay. And I guess we can do our mystery gear. Might as well. Yep. Okay. Well, that's something. Okay, so we got that done, and we got the mission for the data from the surface of the moon done. Now, I'm thinking we can either send a miner to Minmus, like I tried to do the last episode, or we can send a, uh, build a new station around Kerbin, science data from the surface of Gilly, gravimetric surveys of Jewel. Interesting. No thanks. Um... Or I can try to get some of these components from the orbit of Kerbin. We've got those piling up. Um, so we probably should do those soon. Um, let's do these right quick. We've got two of them. Uh, we'll probably do them in two different missions, but we'll do one of them at least. So let's get a just a, one of our small ships that we've used in the past here. Uh, nothing super cool or anything like that. 
but we'll, we'll modify it to be uh, a uh, a claw okay so we'll put a little claw on here um take this parachute off what do we have a mission for someone around Kerbin rescue Luke from the orbit of Kerbin okay and some components so maybe we can do both of those this episode yeah let's do that uh, we've done a ton of them I know but we'll uh, we'll do it anyway all right let's take that off take this off I'm gonna put on some better stuff here uh-huh get that on there put the battery back on there I'm gonna put the claw on there the advanced grabbing unit let's take these off okay we don't need this take that off of there we do need a heat shield on here like so there we go and we will need some electrical go ahead and just put a couple of these bad boys on there there we go and then um, got radio got a battery you've got electrical this has got a reaction wheel you could use some RCS probably might make it a little easier to control so let's go ahead and put them on there um, hold on let me disconnect this part here all right let's see this will be no center of mass there we go we will need an RCS fuel tank on there first of all e which one no not that one there we go that one okay center of mass is right there let's get our command and control I need it to be up here, but I can't do that. So we put it right below that, and right below this. There we go. That ought to do. And then this guy'll be on here, maybe. There we go. Very good. And this will be rescue MK5. I'm gonna say claw rescue so I'll know. There we go. Still uh, MK5. Uh, let's do rescue claw that way it there we go. Stays in the rescue category in my line up there. All right, so these are all good. Got the thumpers on there. I could probably put better cones on here as well. Just increase the uh, aerodynamics of these bad boys. There we go. Um, and then. Got all that, got these coming off, got those coming off, got that one, and that one, and then that one. Okay, I think we're good. Got RCS, got solar, we got, uh, we don't have parachutes. Oof, good thing I didn't start up the mission there. Let's go ahead and pop a couple of shoots on this bad boy. Boop. A little bit overkill, but that's fine. Save that, we don't need a Kerbal on this one. And we do need some of that. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then this. And then now we're ready. Okay. So we got two different missions. One is to rescue Luke. 
And then one is to get some components from the orbit of Kerbin. And we only have one clause. We'll only be getting one component, but uh, I think we actually have to bring it back to the surface, which is not cool. Yeah, recurve it on Kerbin. Yeah. So let's take a look at the map and see what we've got here. We've got these two components here. And then we got Luke's derelict there. So it's going to be tricky because they're all in different orbits. Um, I mean, different locations around Kerbin. So we're going to have to do some maneuvering. Let's go up and get one of these uh, components first. And stop right there. And we're going to go ahead and launch. Gonna set that as our target. And let's see. Are you ready? Ready for launch in three, two, one, launch. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't uh, have a lot of aerodynamic nonsense going on. I forgot these smaller rockets have a tendency to do so, but uh, we'll just let her pop pretty much straight up and then go over as we approach 100 meters per second. There we go. Not be too aggressive with these rockets. That's a good thing about those big heavy rockets. They, they don't tend to flip as much as these little light ones. All right. Pop those bad boys off of there. No, no, <laughs> try to tip. It's trying to tip already. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Flipperoo on channel two. It's like the, the the early game is like a whole different game. <laughs> I mean, you really got to be careful with the fins and everything. All right. We're just about out of atmosphere here now, so it'll be fun. We will be fine now. Let's get this on up to around 70 or so. What is his apoapsis? 93 and 80, okay. Okay, drop that off of there. So 93 and 80, let's get up there to about 90. Just about 90 then. There we go. Now we'll uh, get into orbit and then hopefully be able to uh, scoot on to our destination here the component let's go ahead and pop our solar panels okay all right let's burn Let's get into orbit. Boom shakalaka. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. Is this the one we're going after? Yeah. Got one right behind us as well. I didn't mean to kill my engines. Got past our apoapsis a little bit, but I think we're, we'll be all right. We're high enough that we, we won't fall back down. Should have started burning just a hair sooner. Let's go ahead and do, just do a little bit of adjustment here. There we go. Yeah, clean clean that up a little bit. 
All right. Get down a little closer and still needs to be a little closer to our apple apsis. About 10 seconds. Nope. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait till we get right on, I guess. There we go. Get a little closer. What is his apoapsis? 93 and his periapsis is 80. So that's what we, we want, the same thing. Periapsis of around 80. Okay. Okay, so now we need to put together a plan to get a connection here. So if I put a node down here on the ascending node, we need to adjust our alignment. Oops, wrong way. Three, two, one, and spot on. Okay. Let's do that first. And then we'll uh, see if we can make a contact here. Okay. It's just a little two second burn. Should be fine. Here we go. Speed up time a little bit. Haven't done one of these in a while. And stop. Okay. All right, let's see what our node's still at zero. That's good. Get that off there. And get that off there. We want to look at our intersections now, so. Let's put together a node up here and see if we can get... Oh wow, we have to go through a lot of orbits to, to do that, so we're not going to do that. So let's see if we can just adjust our flight plan here. Get us a little bit closer. Two forty seven. 50 to 205 oops there we go that'd be perfect but what does that do to my apoapsis and my periapsis yeah, this is what I thought. My periapsis will be like down in the atmosphere, so that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. All right, so let's go to our periapsis, perhaps. Add a maneuver there. Let's look it up here. Uh, it should be our next intersection. Two thirty-eight. Let's see here. That's a bad thing about these that are so close to curbing. It's difficult to make a lot of adjustments without dropping into uh, the Atmo. Um, there we go. Getting close right there. 185. 180. Yeah, let's go right there. Wow, this is hard. This is harder than just, uh... Hmm. Alright, let's see if we should maybe... Well, 
My periapsis is 81. His is... Alright, so we need to go to our apple apsis here. And we'll burn down a little bit. So that my periapsis is below his. Alright. This is 80,000. I want mine to be... About 78. Alright. So let's warp to that maneuver. Where's, where's Luke at? He's even worse. He's way behind us. Okay. Oh, look at this. We might be able to get this one, actually. Sooner. It's coming right up on us. Let's set it as our target. Okay. Yeah, that one's actually closer. Alright, so that's good. So let's go to our peri... What's the target of this one? 80,000 and 88, that's good. Alright, so we're still on target doing this maneuver here. Alright. There we go. Just a tiny little burn just to get us down closer. Just a tiny little burn. Just to get us closer here. Alright. Probably too much. Okay. Our next closest intersection is here. 42 meters. And then that one's at 67. So let's get a maneuver node set up here. Let's see if we can get this closer here. That one's getting further. Okay. Can't do that then. Let's see. Need to get within a few, like within 10 or 15 at least. All right. There we go. Now we're talking. 17, 15. Not that. 14. 12. Now we're talking. Ah. My God. Get on the freaking controls, man. Alright. Let's get as close as possible. And not mess up our orbit. There we go, 0. 0.5, that would put our orbit at 94 and 78. We're still good. Okay, we're good. Let's work to our next maneuver, which is in just a few seconds. All right. It's just a one, little, one second burn. Let's do it. Here we go, and burn. Oh. And come on. There we go. Let's see how close we got. 0.8. That's not bad. 0.8 is not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop on over here. Should get start getting close. And we will burn retrograde for as per our target. Get our excess speed off. All right. We're coming up on a thousand meters. That's good. We're going to burn off this speed. We're only 38 meters separate. I'll burn that off. And all right, now I can fly towards him and we'll be ready. Get that off there. I got good on electric. Yep, yeah, okay. Here he is. 
There's the target. Okay, we're gonna fly towards the target to get within about 30 meters or so. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get ready to kill our time warp here. Ah, oh, there he is. All right, let's go retrograde. Retrograde, retrograde. <laughs> He's gonna fly right by. Yo. That's fine. Be just fine. Okay. All right, we're close enough now that we can use some RCS. Um, let's go ahead and turn on the RCS. And we're going to have to control from here. Boop. Arm it. And let's go ahead and get... And Actually, let's turn that off for now. Don't want to waste it all. I'm going to go ahead and just burn, do a little slab burn. Start coming towards him just a little. There we go. And then we'll turn this on and do uh, do these. Uh, yeah, I'll do in. Ah! Don't break my solar panels off. Okay, turn that off. That didn't work out. Boop, boop. Okay. I had to do that to stop it from spinning. Let's turn around again. Try it again. Okay. I need to ditch this big booster off of this, what I need to do. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, here we go. Try it again. Down to zero difference in speed. Okay. Now, let's burn towards the target at just a few meters per second. Turn on the RCS. Let's get close and then we'll um, kill our speed with our RCS. Okay. There we go. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop it. Come on. Retrograde in regard to target. Turn back around. Do just a little tiny burn. Tiny burn. Okay. And... There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go towards the target with my RCS. Come on. You dirty dog. Grab it. Oh my god. He, he won't grab it. Just won't grab it. Okay. Now, now I'm mad. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to retrograde. I'm gonna dump this thing here. Okay. 
All right, now I'm gonna dump this. There we go. Now I'm gonna go back towards the, our friend. Okay, there he goes. Fly towards our friend here. Okay. Let's go retrograde as soon as we get close enough again. This maybe will help us maneuver a little better. Okay. Here we go. Get about 30 meters away. We'll burn. Get this down to zero. And try again. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Turn the RCS on. Thrust toward him. About 1.5 or so. Let's go ahead and get this thing stuck on. Come on, grab him. Seriously? There we go. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we need Luke to be set as a target, and we have no kind of uh, intersection with Luke. Luke here has eighty-six, eighty-four. So we need to go to our periapsis and go a little lower there to our with our apoapsis. He is behind us quite a bit. So maybe I should go actually go higher. That way he can catch up with us. Um, or I could go lower and catch up with him. I think it would be easier for him to catch up with us. So let's go back around to our apoapsis again. We'll raise it up to 90. And then we'll do some orbits and let him catch up with us here. All right. Oh, we're about to catch up with this thing. But we, we can only hold one in our claw at a time. All right. So here we go. We're going to burn our periapsis so that it is higher. About 90. Okay. And then we will put a maneuver node here. And we will start doing orbits until we, oh my god, look how many orbits we're doing. So many. Okay. Only about a bazillion orbits, three days worth. Okay. That will only take a bazillion amount of time. Hmm. How can I set an alarm? Wish I knew how to use this alarm clock. So alarm list, filter list, current vessel. Okay. Add a new alarm. Quick add. To a maneuver alarm. Okay. DVS rescue call maneuver. Kill warp and message. Uh oh, lost my electric charge. You idiot. I forgot to turn my things back on. You imbecile. Where's my ship at? What to do? How can I get some nice juicy electricity to this thing? I can't control it. Um, 
The battery is dead. It'll stay in orbit forever with this component until something else gives it electricity. I could say it send up another claw <laughs> to rescue um, him. Oh, if I could get if I could get Luke here. Uh, I just can't maneuver to get him close enough. I mean, even even at that intersection, we're at twenty one thousand kilometers. That won't be close enough to. Uh... Well, let's see how this works anyway. Let's see, kill kill warp and message. So let's go to tracking station. I still have this alarm going, right? I'm just going to see how this works. Two days and five hours. Let's start warping. Alright, it's getting close. They're going to kill my warp. Oh, it's slowing, it's slowing it down. Cool. Alright. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. Let's go to the claw. Rescue claw. Jump to ship and restore maneuver node. Oh, cool. Awesome. Oh, wow, that is really cool. I like that. I, I needed this like a long time ago. Okay. Hello? Alright. Now, of course, I still can't control this, and I won't be able to complete the mission. However, I did successfully test the alarm clock. <laughs> Alright. So, the maneuver node is uh, irrelevant because it doesn't actually do anything. I can't even delete it because, well, I don't have control. And I don't have a Kerbal on board. Okay, um, I guess 20,000 meters is too far away to get control of Luke. Maybe we'll keep getting closer and closer after this. Now nah, we're not. We're going to pass him. That's the closest we've got. 15,000, 13,000, 12,000, 10,000. How close do you have to be to switch? I think like 500 meters. I think so. We don't think we'll be that close. We might. We might get that close. That would be a miracle, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be too funny. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Oh well. Uh, we could have dream. We could dream, can't we? All right. So I hope you enjoyed this very weird episode. Uh, another failed mission. Uh, I'm just failing missions all over the place. Uh, if you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.